Rüber. Hi. <laughs> you good girl. Oh. Hey guys, um, it is actually Sally from the end of the end of the video. Um, Sally from the future. I thought I had filmed um, something before the first update that I go into, um, but I haven't. So welcome back. This is a pregnancy update. Um, it features some bits that I've been buying and then just some chatty bits about how I'm feeling and yeah, any updates um, for the last couple of weeks. So if you're not into that, you don't want to hear pregnancy chat, this isn't the video for you. Um, there's some fashion content that I'll link down below, but otherwise, yeah, if uh, you want maybe just some gift ideas, if some of your friends are pregnant, friends or family members, um, then yeah, I've been purchasing some little bits um, or if you just want to have a little cup of tea and catch up on my pregnancy, then carry on watching. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you soon. Well, I'll see you in the next bit. But that's me from last week. Anyway, <laughs> bye. We've got some bits to show you. Um, but I thought I'd do a quick update. So what am I? 19 plus three, um, feeling awesome. I was thinking about this the other night. My sleep pattern's all over the place at the moment. I keep waking up at, I don't even know, I don't even look at my phone now because I realise that if I look at my phone, then I'm on my phone and then I can't get back to sleep. So I don't even look at the time, but I'm, I'm waking up quite regularly and quite uncomfortable. And I've been sleeping with um, one of my pillows like in between my legs. And I've just noticed that my like left glute and hip is always quite sore. And then my lower back is quite sore as if I'm almost arching my back in my sleep. So um, I think maybe it's time to get a pregnancy pillow which I'm actually buzzing about. It. I think they look great. <laughs> Whether there'll be enough room in the bed with my six foot three husband, we will see. But yeah, I think maybe that will help. I'm definitely finding comfort in having a pillow kind of to the side of me and slightly in between my legs, just to almost level out my, my hips and my pelvis possibly. I'm not, I'm not too sure. But yeah, otherwise, um, I'm feeling really good. And that's what I was thinking about, sorry, the other, the other early hours of the morning was that um, during that first trimester, I had this horrible feeling that I wasn't going to enjoy pregnancy. And I had I had wanted to be pregnant for a while. And um, I was really excited when we found out we were pregnant. And suddenly it was awful. And I was feeling awful. And I was almost thinking, I'm not going to cope with this. Have I made a mistake? And is this just not for me almost? Uh, which sounds awful, but th those are the thoughts that were going through my head. Obviously, I've struggled with anxiety in the past. Um, I haven't actually spoken about this, but I'll, I'll touch on that later um, of how I've been and with my medication and stuff. But anyway, so I was just worried that it would be nine months of me feeling really negative, really down um, and going to that place again. And it happening during a time that I was really excited about and one of the biggest moments really in my life but luckily as soon as the migraines have eased and the sickness has stopped and my appetite is back and my energy is up and my morning routine is back and all the kind of selfish things that um had changed I feel amazing and I feel just so happy to be pregnant I just um I love it I love being pregnant I love it and I'm so happy to say that because I really did think at one point, maybe I wasn't going to enjoy it and I was just going to have to grin and bear it and get through it. But that is not the case at the moment, touch wood. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I get excited about everything, which is just a really lovely feeling. And um, it's obviously nicer for my partner, for my husband, for me to be like that. Uh, maybe I'm too excited. Maybe I mention that I'm pregnant far too often. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really, really happy. So 19 weeks plus whatever. Last week I took my mum. Uh, she had some time off work. And I just thought if we go to baby vision, she's allowed to come. Uh, and why not let her experience that? We might go into another lockdown. She might, in which case I might not even be able to see her during my pregnancy, during the rest of my pregnancy or... Um, if I booked it later on in the pregnancy, we might not be able to do it. She might not be able to get time off work, blah, 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 blah. So she had some time off work and I booked a scan. We went for lunch and um, we went for technically a gender reveal scan. 
which we'd already had, so we knew it was a girl. But um, the experience and, and the way they scan is just really lovely. And um, the uh, sonographer, uh, Ruth at Baby Vision, did the 4D kind of scan around the face. And I'm so glad she did it because I wasn't sure about having that at first. Pardon me, sorry, I've had a big breakfast. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't too sure about the 4D thing because it kind of looks a bit weird, but I'm so glad she did it. Um, first of all, my mum's reaction. Mum had never seen anything like that. I, if you watch my last vlog, and I can insert some footage now, you'll see the scans that my mum had of me and my brother. She didn't even have a scan for my sister. She'd have had a scan to check how many babies were there, um, but that's all she can remember having. She didn't have anything else. She didn't have a, a scan kind of printed off or anything like that. So that was back in 1983, four. Um, so the scan of me, you can barely make anything out. The scan of my brother, he looks like a tiny little alien. I think he must have been on his side, front on. Um, so I knew as soon as she showed me those scans that she was going to be blown away by just the amount of detail in a, in a normal scan, let alone the 4D bit. Um, and the sonographer, like, kind of, she could, like, manipulate me slightly and, like, move, like, kind of give me a little nudge and that would make the baby kind of move or react. Um, and she was sucking her thumb and she was doing all the cute things and, she pulled her knees in and she was scratching her knees, scratching her head, and she was lying on her on her hand. And you can see all of this. And I I I was just, it was the best gun we've had because I wasn't crying, I wasn't worried. Um, and mum's reaction was just brilliant. And she loved it. She really, really enjoyed it. Uh so yeah, and the 4D bit, her her top lip is is so clear. She's got this lovely little kind of Cupid's bow, her little nose. It's, oh, it was amazing. And I swear she's got my underbite, which I really hope she hasn't. Because <laughs> I've had problems in my jaw when I was growing up. Um, and I had to have a lot of teeth taken out and a lot of braces. Um, and I still I still have issues in my jaw and it's positioning and things like that. But um, I really hope she doesn't have that. But she has got a cute little underbite, which, yeah, amazing. So that was the last scan we had. We've got another scan this week, not private. This is NHS 20-week anomaly scan, which... I'm probably more nervous about because this is when they check for important things. Um, so it's a bit more of a serious scan, less of a kind of fluffy fun scan. But uh, yeah, really important. So that's happening this week. But that's an update in terms of how I'm feeling about the pregnancy and kind of, oh, I've been getting kicks and um, I managed to record one. Like I could actually see it. So they've not, they're not just little pops anymore. They are proper little flicks. And every time it happens, I just have to stop and just kind of take it in. I, I'm sure I'll get over that when she's got a foot under my ribs. But for now, it is just the most incredible, incredible feeling because you can walk around and kind of forget that there's something in there. It sounds strange, but it's, it plays with your head that there's actually a baby in there. Um, so when she does give me a little, oh, it's, it's great. So I was lying in bed on... Is it Saturday or Sunday? I think it was Saturday morning. And um, I just felt really strong when I was like, oh, I wonder if I could see that. And next thing I know, I just noticed my finger go, like it's just popped up slightly. And I got my camera out. And um, yeah, there was two little, little nudges, which is just mad. Shows she's getting stronger. But uh, what else did I mention? My anxiety. So I am still on my sertraline. I was advised not to come off it during pregnancy just in case because obviously hormones are all over the place and my dosage is so low that I don't need to come off it. Like it's not going to affect the baby. There's not going to be any withdrawals when she's born. Um, so yeah, I, I was on 50 milligrams. I'm actually now on 25 because as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I started to reduce it really slowly and really sensibly and I've been fine. And it's I feel great. Um, so yeah, I'm on half the dosage I was on. Oh, <laughs> oh. sorry, I love it. So yeah, I'm on half the dosage I was on. Um, I've had a few tears, but that's just pregnancy hormones and yeah, normal life, I suppose. Um, it's healthy to have a bit of a cry. Um, but yeah, otherwise feeling good, really, really good. Um, 
slightly concerned that obviously when she's born and my body goes through more changes and obviously the the worry of things like posting for depression but I'm trying not to think about that too much I'm just trying to stay positive I've got a really good support network around me um family my husband my friends um who I'm able to to communicate with really really well uh so yeah that's just a little update just wanted to touch on that because I have spoken about it before um, and I feel really good. There are a couple of pieces that I wanted to show you. I have shared this on my Instagram stories, but I don't think I've shared it on here. So I was very kindly gifted this beautiful, I think it's a vegan leather um, changing bag, rucksack, unisex. So the husband can carry this and um, he'll look great in it. It's black, obviously. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of faux, well, like a snakeskin effect, vegan leather. It's got beautiful gunmetal hardware, which I love, because it kind of just blends into the black really nicely. The Tiber and Marl uh, logo there. And it is just so, so my vibe. It's very comfy. Obviously I can't use it yet, um, how it's meant to be used, but uh, it, it looks amazing. I think it's white resistant um, inside. It's all wipeable. You've got some awesome storage in here. Kind of your elasticated pockets for nappies and wipes. It comes with a changing mat, nicely branded, and it rolls it rolls up so it's got some Velcro there. And then it also has this lovely little purse, which has a crossbody strap which for me, I could put in my valuables and rather than having to wear something else across her body, I can just pop that in or use it on its own. It's, it's lovely, really lovely. I love the embossed Tiber and Marl logo there. Again, it's got the gorgeous uh, gunmetal uh, hardware. Really, really beautiful, nice and soft. And then it's got a Tiber and Marl dust bag as well. But yeah, storage wise, it looks Fantastic. Obviously, I have a niece and nephew and um, I see how much stuff they have to come with. So this looks like it's going to be really great for keeping me organised because I'm not the most organised of people. So this middle pocket here has an insulated bottle holder, which I just think is really cool. Um, and then some more pocket storage in there. And then it's got a lovely little front pocket as well, which is great. I think if you just need to put something that's this needs to be easily accessible. So you don't want to get it lost in this big bit something you can just grab really quickly. So yeah, that is the gorgeous Tiba and Marl Elwood Vegan Leather Snake Print Unisex Rucksack. And like I said, they very kindly gifted it me. Um, obviously it's black, I love. And um, I can't wait to try it out. And when I do, I will do a full review on it. But yeah, just first impressions, gorgeous quality, love the aesthetic, um, love the amount of storage and how they've put extra pockets in so that you can be really organised. And yeah, really nice size as well. I think the back's padded. These are nice and padded. You've got your top handle. You've also got these um, little D-rings here, which you can buy um, the little hooks that go onto the back of a pushchair. So you can have that hanging on the back of a pushchair. Yeah, so that, sorry, I've just had a little nosy online. This pocket here, is an internal laptop sleeve, which means I can put my iPad. Where's my iPad? I'm gonna put my iPad in here. So my iPad to see fits absolutely perfectly. So there's my iPad. So sorry, silly, when she's a bit older and she needs entertaining, um, or if I need to just send a few emails or just get some files sent over if I'm out and about and she's in, she's having a sleep or having a feed, I can just nip up, I can grab my iPad out and we're done. I didn't know that, that's really handy. That also means James can put his laptop in there as well. Fantastic. And it said it's a smartphone holder, which I think is that pocket there. You can put your phone in there. So it really is a kind of really up to date um, and really kind of stylish but really practical uh changing bag so yeah if you're if this is your kind of vibe a bit like me 
I would definitely go and check them out. I will link them down below. Again, this was gifted. Um, it's not an affiliate link. Uh, so just go and have a little nosy. I'll, I'll link this particular bag. Um, but yeah, go and have a little look at the brand. Check out their Instagram because they've got some lovely, uh, lovely uh, images on there. Let's move all this out of the way. <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath. Shock, horror. Okay. I had a little delivery on Saturday. I've seen this on Zara and I've been looking at it and looking at it and I've noticed that um, the smaller sizes sell out really quickly and although I know this won't last her long, I just couldn't help myself. So this is only 0 to 1 month. So tiny. Oh, it could be huge. This, this might not fit her. Maybe I should have gone for 1 to 3. Maybe we'll rethink this. But isn't it just precious? It's a beautiful blush pink little knit little ruffle details on the arm and it's got these gorgeous buttons down the back and i just thought it was just adorable yes it's pink i actually think pink and black <laughs> look really nice together there's actually pink obviously throughout some of my illustrations and throughout my book so this is a color that i i really do love as you can see it matches my nails i just love i think that's gorgeous really beautiful and it comes with these little shorts. You like it? <laughs> I think it's because I'm talking. I noticed that. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, these little shorts. I like the lovely little button detail again. The knit is just gorgeous. So yeah, I'll probably pop some little tights with that or even a little baby grow if we need to layer it up. I'm learning. Styling a baby is very different to styling myself. <laughs> I need to, to know the layering system. If you've got any tips, um, especially for a newborn, what do I need to, to stock up on? My friend said get the, um, oh, I've already forgotten the name, but the, the all-in-ones that have like a cross uh, neckline. So I don't think you have to put it over their heads then. It's a whole new world. Anyway, I also got the matching bonnet because clearly I don't know who I am right now. <laughs> this has really appealed. Good on your little head. Anyway, I spent far too much on this outfit. It, I really hope it fits her. <laughs> the, I hope my husband doesn't watch this. So the little hat was 9 99 which will probably last her one month. And then this little set was $22.99. But I'm going to be sensible on, on the main, like on the, the pieces that are essentials. But for the little special outfits, which I'll keep this forever, I'll keep this afterwards. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go grab that dress I ordered. Because I don't think I showed you last time. I mentioned this little dress um, in my last, sorry, in my last pregnancy vlog, but I don't think I actually showed you. I think I popped it on screen. Um, but this is it. This is from Greenberry, Greenberry Kids. It's, uh, oh, let me just button up. It's a little ribbed romper and it has this little gorgeous, what fabric is that? Like a linen-y cotton, kind of tutu on it, but not tutu netting. Oh, it's long sleeve. That's underneath, so easy access to nappy. <laughs> That's a little bumper popper fastening there. And then this is the skirt. I mean, how twee is that? And it was £36. <laughs> oh, God, I need to stop. Okay, again. <laughs> This is mainly for me, <laughs> um, but it's her first like little black dress. I was excited. We just found out it was a girl. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, yeah, that is expensive. It's been more than I spent on some of my own dresses recently. <laughs> She's going to be trouble. This, I'm in. I'm in there's so much trouble with a girl. I'm shopping now. I know how my mother felt. <laughs> but yeah. And then the hangers I picked up, we went to Ikea, stupidly, um, the other week. But I found these little tiny 
hangers. In fact, oh, you can hang up the pink. I'm not too sure where I'm going to hang the... Oh, maybe we can't. It's going to look massive on there, isn't it? Oh, well. Anyway, yeah, little pack of um, wooden children's hangers. I just thought were looked really lovely. They were from Ikea. I can't remember how much they were, like two pounds maybe, three pounds. Uh, so we've got a few of those. But yeah. And then I did get one more thing, which I'm going to go and grab. Oh. And then, um, okay, this is <laughs> something else I picked up. These are the Bibs um, Pacifier. That sounds really American. We call them dummies. Is that right? Or diddies. Um, I take these out and sterilise them anyway when she arrives. But I couldn't help myself because they're black and white. <laughs> I mean, come on. And it's a white one. I think I'll have to go, I'm going to have to order a little pink one now as well. So yeah, these are just the little bibs ones. Um, my niece and nephew have used this brand. And uh, this is size one. I think they come in three sizes. Yeah, available in three sizes, 100% BPA uh, free, natural, soft, rubber, uh, easy clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got these off Amazon. So, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Again, I just bought these because I was really excited that we're having a baby. <laughs> um, they will just be put in a cupboard for the next few weeks. The next 20 weeks. I'm halfway on Friday. Excited. Okay, let's pop this in here. There was another thing I wanted to mention. Um, we haven't started properly looking at uh, push chairs just yet. I have had a nosy at kind of brands and style and like those kind of things, you know, the really important things, making sure there's an all black option out there um but haven't actually been to try any because i understand the importance of it being easy to handle lightweight tall enough for me and james obviously he's six foot three as i've mentioned before so i need to have a pram that's suitable for a tall person um yeah easy to fold down and how much room is it going to take in the boots so there's lots we need to think about um but i did discover in fact no they reached out um they they got in contact um, and kind of introduce themselves because they're new. Uh, they're called Buggy. I will put the details on screen now. So they are a Buggy subscription um, website where you pay monthly and you have a Buggy for six months. And if you want to change it after six months, you can. So um, yeah, an amazing, much more sustainable kind of option. Uh, one that I hadn't thought about. I hadn't thought about the sustainability of a buggy, um, whether that's how it's made or the fact that um, we might just get rid of it. Obviously, I'd, I'd probably sell it and hope that someone would want to buy a pre-loved one. I hadn't thought about buying a pre-loved buggy either. Uh, maybe it's because it's our first pregnancy and I just wanted to buy a new buggy. That was my initial reaction. Um, they've got some great brands on there. In fact, let me just go on their website so I can. Um, this is the website. I hope you can see that. In fact, no, I'll put the website on screen. I'm just gonna, I'll screen record what I'm looking at. Um, so how Buggy works, you select your buggy and you subscribe. So you pick one of the buggies, um, which let's just see, they've got Baby Zen, uh, the Yo-Yo, which looks really good. They've got some um, Bugaboo. They've got, is it Stoke or Stokey? Um, so they're on there. So you pick the buggy that you want, you subscribe. So you pay your monthly subscription. It, it varies in price. Let's say you pay 30 pounds a month. They deliver the buggy to your door. Then you can enjoy your buggy for up to six months, shall we say, and they will collect it when you want to change it. So I think six months is the minimum. And then after six months, if you think my needs have changed or I haven't really got on with this, this buggy, but I want to try a different one. Amazing. You haven't had to spend, what, £700, £1,000 on, um, on a new buggy. You can just swap it. And um, they showed some details actually on their Instagram recently about how they clean the buggies. They look pristine. You wouldn't even know that they, they are pre-loved. Um, it's so amazing for sustainability. And also 
buggies are expensive like wow really expensive so um in terms of price this is an amazing option um let's have a little look at their products what did i like the look of i like the look of the baby zen yo-yo but that might be too old which one was i looking at oh the stoke i'm going to call it stokey i'm sure i've heard someone else call it stokey i might be wrong um again i'll put it on on um on the screen but the stokey beat that looks really cool but then i'd also i'd probably like to change it maybe for a different one later on the explorer looks cool the baby zen yo-yo push chair and newborn pack what else do i like the look of the bugaboo the bugaboo fox looks good um they've got uh ones on there for twins so if you're having twins they do the bugaboo donkey duo and the bugaboo donkey twin so the duo i guess is if you've got like a toddler and a baby and then the donkey twin is if you're having twins uh what else oh the stoke trails that looks cool they all look really really nice um so they do actually do brand new and they do reconditioned but yeah go and have a little nosy i just thought it was really interesting and what a great idea so there's a step-by-step -step guide on how it works Again, I'll put it all on screen, um, but this is definitely an option that we are considering uh, because why wouldn't you? I'm trying not to be too precious about how the buggy looks because it needs to be practical. And it, like everything else I can make a decision on, like the dress and, the, and her clothes and my, like what the things I pick for myself aren't always practical. It's always kind of aesthetic led, but this is something I need to be serious about. And um, yeah, their, their team are really knowledgeable, really helpful. Um, check out their Instagram as well. So they're, if you need to send them any messages, they, they're a lovely team. So go and say hello to Buggy. <laughs> but I think that's all I have to update you on. I might do a quick update after our 20 week scan. And I think that will be it. So yeah, I will speak to you then. Yeah, I'll see you then. Why am I trying to end this? <laughs> it is so miserable today. It's not raining, it's just so dark. Um, and the house feels really gloomy, so I've just come up to the spare bedroom. One just for a different setting because I seem to be in the bedroom, like filming in our bedroom a lot. It, it does get the best light because the windows are, are so tall. Um, but yeah, I just fancy the change and it's nice and quiet up here. So we went for our 20 week scan yesterday. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's just because it's at the hospital and it's a much more serious scan. Um, I was just really nervous and I feel like I held my breath for pretty much the entire scan. And then when she said everything was fine, everything was fine. Um, I just cried again <laughs> and I just find it so exhausting. So um, I was going to film straight afterwards, but I had um, a deadline to to get on with so i just ended up being on my ipad all day but it's um it's thursday i am 20 weeks tomorrow uh the scan went great she's measuring at exactly what she should be measuring at um her heart's perfect her spine her brain oh what else do they check all the blood flow everywhere it's, it's an amazing scan and the amount of detail and she was so thorough and so reassuring so i think she could tell i was um i was nervous but yeah so that went really well so i'm just so glad that we've We've reached that milestone. We're halfway, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, after that, <laughs> I went and popped to pick up, a, um, I'd ordered something at Next and I picked up a few bits from there. And I also popped to HomeSense as well because the two are kind of together. So I just thought I would show you what I picked up. And that's one. Okay, so I saw this on um, an Instagram post on like the Explore page. And it was a little baby girl wearing this with a gorgeous little headband and I <laughs> pretty much all of the outfits. So this is just a really beautiful kind of blush pink little velour all in one. And it's got this gorgeous little frill neck and these little frills and ruffles on the sleeve and these little bows on the feet. Um, I just thought she'd look really cozy and cute in this. So yeah, I got that and it was only £10. Um, which compared to the other pieces I have ordered is very reasonable. So yeah, I got that one. And then I also picked up these. This one is 
pure organic cotton and it was £2.50, which again, absolute bargain. And um, I didn't plan on purchasing um, any black pieces when I went in there, but I just saw these and they're such a great price. Um, so yeah, I just thought, why not? <laughs> so that's like a little kind of tunic. What will that be? Like a little dress with some leggings. I've got some leggings as well. Little short sleeve one. So yeah, £2.50 for that. And then these little leggings were also £2.50. Um, and they've just got a little, a little frill just around the ankle. Just cute little basic. So I've got those as well. And then this little long sleeve ribbed frill around the, around the, the hem and the sleeves. Little kind of crew neck. And that was four pounds. So that was the, the most expensive part of the, the black pieces. Yeah, I just thought it was so cute. So, <laughs> Her wardrobe is growing, of course. And then after that, like I said, I popped to Home Sense and I saw these two beautiful little blankets. They're kind of little um, blankets for like the pram or Moses basket, or even if I'm feeding and I just want to grab a little blanket to, to cover up. And the, the colour is exactly the kind of colour I want on the walls, like this beigey, greyy colour. That is from Home Sense. It's by Silver Crowd. It's 100% cotton and, um, oh, what does it measure? 70 by 90. And I think it was 9.99. And I love the little ribbon detail. That would make a really lovely present. And it kind of reminds me of the Netta Forte uh, ribbon, but just like white and, uh, and beige. And it's on a little hanger. I thought that was sweet. And then this one, I need to be careful because there's a letter on here, which I don't want you to see. <laughs> Um, again, this is also by Silver Cry. This is also $9.99, 100% cotton. And just uh, this is just the perfect colour. This is exactly the colour I want um, in the nursery. Um, again, same same ribbon. Really lovely present that would be. They're very soft. That's just a, more of a plain knit with a nice kind of edge to it. But yeah, there's something on there that I can't show you yet. Oh. So those are the pieces I picked up. Um, I did ask you guys, I've written them down because obviously I'm filming on my phone. Fingers crossed I'm ordering a camera, so I won't be filming on my phone for much longer. Okay, we've got some questions. First one, what cravings have I had? Um, first trimester wasn't so much cravings. It was more everything I love to eat, I hate it. Or I would throw it up. Or it just... I just didn't want it. So I was on lots of beige foods. Uh, I didn't want vegetables. I didn't want peppers or tomatoes, like red peppers. I really didn't want red peppers. Um, just I want stodgy mash, mashed potato and sausages and gravy. That was popular. Now, still not really craving anything. Um, although I do like, or well, maybe my taste buds have changed that spicy food, I can go a lot hotter. Um, and I'm really enjoying green chilies. So if you've seen me on my Instagram stories, I, I'm back on the veg. Um, I love a falafel bowl, like a nourish bowl with a heap of either jalapenos or like full green chilies, pickled ones. So yeah, that's that's new. That's about it really. It's, I've gone back to pretty much normal. I find more than anything at night that that's when I tend to have my biggest meal and that's a mistake because then I'm really uncomfortable. But yeah, um, not really intense cravings. Just, uh, I love, I love green chilies. Okay, will we be moving house? Um, no. <laughs> well, there is something we want to do to this house um, to make it a little bit more family friendly. That if we can't do, maybe we will move. Uh, but otherwise, we don't need to move. We don't need more space. We already have too much space. It's, it's a big property. It's five floors. Um, there's way too much space for just two people. Uh, so yeah, we we can grow a family in this house quite comfortably. But there's just a couple of things that we'd like to change. Like I said, to make it a bit more family friendly. That if if we can't, if we can't get permission, yeah, maybe we will move. But um, yeah, there's no need to move, shall we say? How long were we trying for? 
Okay, I'm quite aware that this could be a subject that is difficult for some people to hear. Um, one of my closest friends tried for two years um, and that was awful to watch her go through that. Uh, she is now pregnant, which is amazing. Um, we tried, I'm going to say it happened the first time. <laughs> we um, hadn't, I'm trying to think how to explain it. We'd spoken about having a family and um, when the time would be right and blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, we had a conversation during lockdown and in my head last year, this was the year I was going to be pregnant. That was my plan. Um, obviously, I have a husband to think about and um, I'd mentioned it to him like that's this is the kind of age in the year and like where our life is at. that I think that would be the right time for us to, to maybe start trying fully aware it could take us. Um, a long time or it might not even happen um, and we had the the conversation one lockdown date night and I'm pretty sure <laughs> we agreed to start trying and uh, let's just say within two weeks I had a positive pregnancy test <laughs> and his reaction when I told him I've taken a test and there's a there's a line like it says pregnant his his response was it's not as simple as that I was like uh, well for us it is. <laughs> so yeah, that is that is our experience with getting pregnant. Um, that's just me being honest. That's that's what happened. Um, so yeah, we were very very lucky. Um, it it kind of though made me more worried that it could not happen. Like something could happen further into the pregnancy because it was it was so easy for us. But you know. That is just our situation, and um, and I'm extremely grateful that that is what happened to us. Um, so yeah, that's 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 the answer to that question. <laughs> Have I bought her any black boots yet? <laughs> and I know who sent this. Um, no, not yet, but I already know that she will be having many a pair of black boots. When I was little, I had a pair of black Doc Martens. Were they black or were they? Oh, did I? Have no, I had black Doc Martens and then I think when I like grew out of them, I painted them. I was a weird child and I think I painted flowers all over them. But yeah, I definitely had Doc Martens, so she will be having a pair of boots, of course. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I haven't I haven't got any yet. I have seen that you can get like little knitted booties. Um, there's some on Etsy that I've seen that are black. So, of course, they will be purchased. <laughs> She won't be wearing solely black. I always wanted to, to address that. Um, obviously, me personally, I love the colour black. I love how black looks. Um, maybe when I have her and I put her in black, I might hate it. But um, yeah, I think you just kind of go with your taste. So I have quite a minimal um, kind of colour palette that I like. Um, so I'm not going to be drawn to the really loud colours it's just my my personal taste. I mean, when she can pick her own clothes and I can take her shopping, she can pick whatever she wants. But um, when I'm buying it and I'm going with my taste, then yeah, her her wardrobe's probably going to be more toned down. Um, whites, nudes, kind of blush pinks, blacks. Um, but yeah, when she when she tells me she wants to own a bright yellow dress, <laughs> she can have one. Um, how are you doing? Uh, when's your due date and name? And then someone else also asked. In fact, there was a few questions saying, have you settled on the name? Um, so I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. That's really sweet of you. Um, I have addressed that earlier on in the blog. So yeah, doing really well. Um, due date is the end of February, but I have a feeling it'll be the first of March, like the first week of March. Um, and a name, we do have a name. We've had a name probably for over a year particularly for a girl we really struggled before we found out it was a girl to think of boy names we had we did find we did decide on a boy name in the end um but we'll just bank that <laughs> for if we have a boy in the future um but yeah we do have a girl's name uh i won't be sharing it because that's just fun to, to kind of keep it as a surprise you know it's a girl you can wait for the name um but yeah we've had it for i'm gonna say over a year and I, I don't know why, where it came from. You have those conversations, don't you? 
you just hear a name, you're like, that would make a nice girl's name. Oh, that sounds good with Wallace, which will be her surname. It's my surname and um, James's surname. Um, so, yeah. And then her middle name, I really want... Oh, I can't really say. There's a name that I want to use, but I think maybe people might just be like, why? So, yeah, there's it. We've got a couple of middle names. Yeah. That's kind of... I think everything else has been answered. Ooh. I think everything else has been answered, hopefully, at the beginning of this vlog. Um, but yeah, that is halfway. We're at the halfway point. Um, if you do have any other questions you want me to answer in the next vlog, leave them down below, send me them on Instagram. Um, I've really enjoyed kind of having a new topic to talk about because I've never been pregnant before, never had to go through this. Um, I'm still learning, it's all new. Um, it's a really lovely community, especially on Instagram. Um, people who have had children or who are pregnant or, yeah, it's just, it's just lovely. So um, thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, leave any, any comments down below. Um, but yeah, I will see you. I'm not sure when I'll do a next update. What have we got coming up? I'm probably going to start doing the nursery. I mentioned that in my vlog, my blog vlog. Um, so I'll document that. Fingers crossed I'll have a camera. So maybe the vlogs will change a bit, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all well. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. And like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Bye.